Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be going over my very own puzzle platformer game, which I call A-Man, since the player's character looks like an A. My inspiration for this game was the early 2000s calculator game Block Dude, where the objective was to pick up and place blocks so that the character can get to a door. The video that you're seeing right now is actually an online version of the calculator game, since I don't have this game myself and so I can't get a video of it on my own calculator. And it's actually not possible to program your own version of Block Dude on the TI-84 Plus normally, since to code a game like this, where you have many things moving at once, like in the background, you actually need to install an assembly library, which allows you to change the base functions of the calculator. My goal was to code a puzzle platformer game like Block Dude, but just in the normal TI Basic code. So without further ado, here is the game. There are six levels in A-Man and they get progressively harder as you go on. There are not really many game mechanics in this calculator game, so it's kind of hard to come up with unique and challenging levels. That's why there's only six of them. But nevertheless, I will start with level one. So when you first run the program, it asks what level you want to play, and I'll start with level one. And you can see it builds the level. It starts from the bottom left and it moves right and then up, and then your player and the checkpoint flag load in. So I can move this player left and right, and I can walk upstairs and downstairs. And you can see here I have zero out of three. These are the number of blocks that I'm holding. So if I go above a block, I can press up, and I can now have the block in my inventory. And if I want to place a block, I press the down button, and whatever direction I'm facing, it's going to put a block in front of me. So the goal is to get from the start to the checkpoint flag. And for level one, very simple, you just have to build a normal staircase. So you can see I'm standing on this block and I'm going to put the block in front of me to the right, but it's going to fall down one. And now I can place the last one. And so once I hit the checkpoint flag, it's now going to load in the next level. And you'll see here, new level, new game mechanics. So first of all, build a staircase. And the point of levels one and two is to really get you comfortable with the game mechanics, especially with gravity. So right here, if I were to jump into this hole, I cannot get out since I can only move left and right. I can't place any blocks. So that's why there's the feature of the restart the level, which is the second button. Very easy, just restarts drawing the level. So I won't go over right now all six levels, especially in case you want to play it yourself. But after you get all the six checkpoints, the game is over and you win. So I'll show some gameplay of all the levels later if you want to see the solutions, but right now I'll go into the code. The code for this game is actually relatively simple, and as usual, you can download the code yourself on my website, which will be in a link in the description. To start off, you have your normal stuff, clearing the graph screen. Then it's going to ask you what level you want to input, and it's going to make sure you actually put a valid level, one through six. The next part is how it actually draws the game board. So. After it draws, you know, some basic stuff like the border, it then uh, saves this long list as L1. So this is how you actually draw each level individually. So this list has unique numbers. The first five are the coordinates of the player, how many uh, blocks it, the player can hold, and then the coordinate of the flag. And then the rest of these numbers are specially coded numbers to help draw the board in a very succinct way. So you pretty much have a list that gets decoded later. So after, you know, it does some other stuff like saving variables, and then it checks how long the list is, and then, then this is where it actually decodes that list. So it's going to move through the list, left through right, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to look. It's, if there's a one, it's going to draw a whole row of blocks. And then each time it's looking at a number, it's moving right, and then it's going, going to go up. So after it draws a row of blocks, it's going to again, then move up one, and it's going to say, if there's a two, it's going to draw a solid block for however many blocks it says in the next thing. So if we were looking at this code, it's going to draw a horizontal row, then draw a horizontal row above it, and then the three means it's going to have air blocks. So there's going to be three air blocks for seven in a row, and then two solid blocks for 24 in a row. And then once it reaches the wall, it's going to automatically go up. So we already said that three is air blocks until the next number in the list, how many that is. Five is actually blocks that you can pick up. And then either, this is like your index for where you are on the graph screen. If you reach the end of the wall, 
like on the right side, or if you put the number four, it's just gonna go up a row. So these are all tricks to make the code, to make the program draw the game board quickly without saving that much data. Because I could have the whole game board be a matrix of just values of block on, block off, but that would take a lot of data. So saving a list each time with few numbers and then decoding it takes up a lot less data in your calculator. So after it draws the board, it's gonna draw your character and the flag. And then very simply, it's just gonna loop through, it's gonna get your key input, and it's gonna say if you're gonna move left, you know, check the blocks, is the blocks, are the pixels on, can you actually move left? Same thing for moving right, can you actually move right? And it's also gonna save the direction that you're facing. So if, if K equals 34, which means if you press the down key, it's now gonna check if there's a block under you, it's gonna pick up the block, it's gonna add it to the number of blocks that you're holding. And then K equals 25, it's gonna use the direction that you're looking and place a block down in front of you. And it's also gonna shift that block down until it hits the ground because there is gravity in this game. And then it's gonna say, if you actually press the key, it's gonna redraw you. And then K is 21 is the second button, which is the restart level button. So if you restart the level, it's gonna say that you actually finished the level, but then go back one. So that's the equivalent of just restarting the level. And then there are just a few more things like uh, redrawing the, the number of blocks each time and changing your old location to the new location. And then if you beat all the levels, you uh, end the loop. And then finally it says, says you win and then you know pauses and uh, gets the graph back to normal. So the game is actually pretty simple. Really the most important thing is how it actually uh, writes all these lists and then decodes them to draw the board. That I thought was a pretty unique way to make this game. I'll now show the gameplay for all the rest of the levels. As usual, thank you all for watching and please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.